Well, hello everybody. Here we have another meeting of story time. Today I have Love Monster and the Scary Something. Let's get started. It was way past bedtime o'clock in Cutesville and everyone was fast asleep. Everyone, that is, except for one particular monster. Hello, love monster. You see, just like every night, he'd made a cup of hot milk with chocolate and sprinkles and counted his way up the stairs, closed his eyes, and snuggled in tight with Teddy. But that night, The harder he tried to nod off, the awaker he was, and the later and darker and spookier it was. <gasps> he looks scared. So Love Monster lay and listened to the sounds of the shadowy night. Shadowy night. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That was the clock. That was the song of the wind blowing the leaves. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Well, that was the cutest owl. Russell, Russell. That was the, hold on, what? Was that? It sounded like something in the yard. Now it sounded like something downstairs. Mm -hmm. Bang! Ah! I think he got scared. He climbed under the comforter, his heart beating loud and fast. There was definitely something out there, and that something had definitely gotten in. Pitter-patter, pitter-pat, pitter-pat. Ooh, it sounded like the something had terrible twisterly toenails. Bump, bumpity, scuffle-shuffle bump. Oh no, it sounded like the something with terrible twisterly toenails was coming up the stairs. Crunch, crunch, crunchity, crunch, eek. It sounded like the something with terrible twisterly toenails had great big teeth and it sounded hungry. Mm. Suddenly, Love Monster could bear it no longer. Somehow hiding from the something outside got harder than finding something brave inside. So he flung back the covers and flicked on the flashlight. <laughs> Went to something. Hmm, it's teeny tiny. Oops. As it turns out, Love Monster hadn't been the only one who couldn't sleep that night. And he wasn't the only one who didn't want to be alone. It looks like everybody's coming over. And as the tiniest, fluffiest bunny in Cutesville explained to his, I suppose, a bit googly-eyed friend, they both laughed and laughed until their tummies ached. And you know what? The dark just didn't seem that spooky anymore. You see, sometimes it's only when you're brave enough to face what you're afraid of that you find out there was nothing to be scared of at all. It says, for my mini monster river, may you always find your brave inside. 
and hugs. So I hope you like that book. I'm looking forward to us meeting today on our new app, Zoom. And I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing me because I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Till then, bye-bye.